The rhomboid muscle group. The rhomboid muscle group is found between the spine and the scapula in the mid-back region. It lies deep to the trapezius muscle group and has both a major and minor component. It functions to position the scapula for various movements of the shoulder joint. We'll take a look at the landmarks for the rhomboid muscle. We have the cervical vertebrae at C7 and the scapula. The rhomboid minor originates on the spinous processes of C7 and T1 and inserts on the vertebral border of the scapula at the root of its spine. The rhomboid major originates on the spinous processes of T2 through T5 and inserts on the vertebral border of the scapula. Contraction of the rhomboid muscle group produces scapular retraction and scapular elevation. The middle trapezius is synergistic to the rhomboid muscles during scapular retraction. The upper trapezius and levator scapula are synergistic to the rhomboids during scapular elevation. The serratus anterior and pectoralis major oppose the rhomboids during scapular retraction and the lower trapezius opposes the rhomboids during scapular elevation. Associated symptoms for trigger points in the rhomboid muscles include superficial pain between the shoulders, especially at rest. The pain is not influenced by any ordinary movement and clients will complain of a snapping or crunching noise during movement of the shoulder. Some factors that may activate and perpetuate rhomboid trigger points include prolonged holding of the arms above the head, such as when they're painting a ceiling, and rounded shoulder posture while working at a computer, sewing, or reading. Trigger points in the levator scapula, pectoralis major, and middle trapezius fibers are all associated with trigger points in the rhomboid muscles. Clients are sometimes misdiagnosed with a condition known as scapulocostal syndrome when in fact the pain is caused by trigger points in the rhomboid muscles. To locate and release the trigger points in the rhomboid muscle, start with the client in the side-lying position and ask them to place their top arm behind their back. This will cause the medial border of the scapula to stand out from their upper back region. Locate the inside edge of the scapular spine along the medial border of the scapula. This is your landmark. The first, or upper rhomboid trigger point, lies just inside the edge of the scapula at the level of the scapular spine. Remember, the rhomboid muscle lies deep to the trapezius muscle, and its trigger points lie closer to the edge of the scapula than the middle trapezius trigger point. All three rhomboid trigger points refer pain along the inside border of the scapula. With one hand, Move the client's arm forward slowly and place it on the table in front of them. As you do this, apply pressure to the trigger point with your other hand. As the client's arm reaches the table, hold your pressure on the trigger point for 5 seconds and then release. Return the client's arm to their side and repeat this release procedure 4 times. Now move your contact towards the client's feet about an inch and locate and release any other trigger points that you find with the same procedure. You may leave the client's arm in the extended position if it's easier for you. The client in the side lying position palpate the spine of the scapula to the medial edge and the upper rhomboid trigger point lies just off the medial edge of the spine of the scapula. 
Apply thumb pressure here as you bring the client's arm forward, all the way forward, and hold. Release, bring the client's back arm back up. With your contact, follow the edge of the scapula all the way across, and then release and bring the client's back arm to neutral. And repeat this entire procedure four times. Now we'll move our contact towards the client's foot about an inch for the middle rhomboid trigger point and repeat the release procedure four times. And for the lower rhomboid trigger point, we're going to move our contact down an inch towards the client's foot. Repeat the procedure again, following with our contact along the edge of the scapula. Hold the pressure, release the pressure, and bring the arm back. Repeat the entire process four times using client feedback to help gauge your pressure.